to come out now, lah. You know? I'm asking you. Do you know? <laughs> Wait, does the sun rise from the east or the west? It was like arguing with my mom. Oh, bo! Oh, she fell for it. I also don't have the answer. Hey, winners lie. Don't worry. Oh my God! He's my lecturer. <laughs>
O-N-O. M O wrong. wrong. Your turn. Spell. Uh, can I can I hear it in a sentence? <laughs> o N O M Onomo Onoma Onomo M No, that's one M, okay? O N O M Now I'm just confused. O M O M O M O M So how did you spell it? Onomatopoeia. O N O M A T O P O E I A. But the judge also like don't know how to spell. She was looking at the minus spell. Judge, can I propose something? You try again without looking at her. Okay. Oh, the taunting you guys. Oh, Anna Marapia. O N O M A T O P O I E A. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Salah. We won. We won. Your next word is rendezvous. Wait, what was the word? Rendezvous. R E N D E Z V O U S. That's for rendezvous, but I say <laughs> rendezvous. <laughs> you are correct. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. You have now an additional 10 seconds throughout your debate. Okay. Moving on to the first round of debate, teams will be given three minutes to discuss and strategize your arguments. When the time is up, chosen speakers are to stand at their respective podium. So, Team Red will have 70 seconds to present throughout the entire competition, but Team Code will only have 60 seconds. We don't have to use up all 60 seconds, right? <laughs> no, no, just, just asking. Okay, this one not my student last time. Before we begin, let's decide which team will be arguing for or against the statement. So the winning team from the spelling bee, Team Red, come forward and draw a capsule from the jar. Let's go, Isaac. Isaac, chayo, chayo. Big money, big money. This one, ah. You know what? Go for the blue. Go for the blue. Uh. Go for the blue uh. Against. Oh. Round one, your motion is. What's motion? In Singapore, the west side is superior than the east side. <laughs> I live in the east. I cannot lie. Hey, winners lie. Don't worry. Yeah. The strategy now, right, is very straightforward. You tell me all the good things that the west side yeah. has, and I'll just think of the yeah. opposite. Okay, the, <laughs> the west side is uh, the, the one that makes Singapore the most money because a lot of industrial places. <laughs> east Coast Park can see sunset, so sunset in east. What are you talking about? Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. We, we are definitely right. losing. The yeah. sunset is from the east. The sunset from the west. The sunset, sunset from, from the east. east. Why are we even no, arguing? Wait, wait, oh, yes. The sun rises from the east. Then how come East Coast Park can see sunset? Wait, does the sun rise from the east or the west? Ya Allah! East side got a lot of light skin Malays. Ah. <laughs> Who lives in the west here? <laughs> exactly, no one. Because it's that popular and like... <laughs> what? <laughs> and, and no one can get there because the west is just so high in demand. Secondly, what is there in west? Cemeteries. And what's in the cemetery? Your families. So if you stay in the West, you can always be close to your families. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good point. Next, um, we are nearer to JB and then the sunrise from the East. Oh my god, that's literally what I have in my notes. You know what's the number one debate rule? If you can't convince, confuse. Well, 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 whatever Sui said about sun rising in the East, well, that is accurate. And that's why the East is better. Because if you know, right, people buy the houses, they are facing the East. Because why? The sun facing the house, right, warms the house in the morning. Amazing. Changi Airport. Literally, you can go anywhere in the world right. through Changi Airport. And plus, it is the number one airport. Oh, wait, the number one airport in many years already, okay? Sorry. Plus, Jewel World. Right, plus, Munaba Great States in the East. Let's go. That's right, she's Tampanese born and bred. Teams, you got one minute to strategize your rebuttal. I gotta say, the one team is very much stronger in product knowledge. Yeah. Right? The other team, I'm not so sure about the irony landing really well. Okay, so your rebuttal starts now. Okay, firstly, Changi Airport is not the number one airport in Singapore anymore. Sorry, in the world <laughs> anymore. You know who is the number one airport in the world right now? Do you know? I'm asking you. Do you know? Uh, Dubai. Exactly, you don't even know. That's not the answer. The answer is Qatar. Qatar is the number one airport in the world now. Judges, I would like you to know that he didn't have his facts right. What rhymes with best? The West. I'm going to bring it back to what Sui said earlier when she asked who lives in the West and nobody answered. And honestly, my answer to that is that who wants to live in the West? Nobody! Yeah. Alright? And that's why, you know what? People live in the East and they die in the West. Ooh. Hey, wait. Let's talk about Changi Airport not being 
the best airport, but it has been the best airport several years before this year. So you do go to the airport? All the time! Exactly! She goes and she, you know why? You know why not? She's so right? She's so cool! It's not airport! It's not airport! Where do you think Sulita Airport is? Yeah, that's right! It's in the west! <laughs> on one side, there was logic. He's talking about us. Oh. <laughs> on the other side, she... <laughs> She had gumption. So the question now is, does logic and facts triumph entertainment value? Mm. Oh. But we've decided... Uh-huh. And logic triumphs. Yeah. Yeah. What is this, yo? What is this? Is this an actual debate competition or are we filming code break? Let's go. Four. Oh. Okay. okay. Dating someone who has cheated before is... Acceptable. Oh, eh, 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 Okay, let me put in context, okay? Not only the cheaters are men. In front of misogyny, you got what? Miss. Eh? So, cheating is for both men and women. That's my first point. And my second point is, exam got cheat. Game got cheat before or not? Uh, why dating not cheat? That's my question. I also don't have the answer, but I'm just giving you all the question first. Dating someone who has cheated before is not okay because you are not the only girl in his world. You are not the only girl in his world. And then, when you date someone that's like that, you become one more lonely girl. One more lonely girl after that. Yes. You want trust issues? Do you want insecurities? Do you want your mother to be not proud of you? Then you cheat, though? It's called mother already, winner. <laughs> well, I'll play mother. I take back the mother line. <laughs> <laughs> Being cheated and cheating is more relatable than you think. And also, this is one hand. What is this? Five hand. Wrong. It takes two hands, though? Clap. Don't be so desperate. I mean, be desperate. Who said game can cheat? What is your MMR on Dota? Five. <laughs> no wonder you need to cheat. <laughs> and lastly, because uh, I've said enough, I'm signing off. <laughs> yes! Exactly! Why use many words when few words do cheat? cheat. <laughs> I think there is um, a very strong arguments for one side this time round because it's sensible advice, but it's also quite humorous. I feel like it was a missed opportunity. If either of you harboured on the fact that the cheating is not happening now, the cheated has happened before, that would have been a compelling debate. But that's it, I think it was a very compelling argument. <laughs> so after deliberation, we have decided that the winner of this round is Team Cole. <laughs> Now your motion for this round is... Clubbing is a waste of money. I would like to start my, uh, my argument by doing a breakdown of the expenditure of one night of clubbing. Let's start with the makeup. How much is an average eyeshadow palette? $80. That's $80. The grab to the, to the club is another $30. That's $110. And then if you're not a girl and you're a male, how much are you paying for your drinks? You don't get free drinks for looking cute. That's another $50 at least. By the end of the night, you're spending $200. You know what $200 can do? It can pay a week's worth of rent in Melbourne. Okay, just saying. Then you save a lot like throughout the month, right? Not only can you pay your rent for uni, you can also go to uni. And then number three, right? Okay, wait, I'm done. Your oh, time is out. And waste of money is always thought of as like this very tangible thing, right? But experiences are priceless. You talk about uh, money spending and drinking, right? Dude, you could pre-drink at home. You could cup with your friends, buy together, drink at home. Don't pay at the club, right? It's a choice. It's a choice. I would like to uh, wait for the rebuttal to rebuttal all the things that she said. Yeah. So. I would like to wait for the rebuttal to rebuttal. <laughs> yeah. Alright, my first point. I'd like to bring up a sentence that Isaac made earlier on where you can pre-drink at home and therefore it does not constitute as a waste of money. However, if you're drinking at home, club at home. Also, you said Money can't buy experiences, right? That's because I did not say that. I said it's a waste of money, not a waste of experience. If clubbing was free, of course, we would truly enjoy um, the, the night and um, the experience with my friends, right? I'm saying how expensive it is and it's just not worth it at this moment. It's, um, of course, understandable that you would say that um, clubbing is great because that's where you find cheaters. 
Well, I'll call back jokes you. Damn. Your time starts. Okay, so now. Yeah, okay. So the first point I think Ida brought up about like the makeup, right? So according to Girl Math, right? Basically spread it over a few months. You don't use $80 or whatever you said, you know, on that day itself. Like you also said go to you can save money and go to uni. Only if you can get into uni, you know. I can because oh, I didn't yeah, okay. clean up. So, Ida, don't hypocrite lah. Ida, you duck club. Ah. Huh? Apa you oh. sugar? <laughs> That's a faham. I think the debate really just started with this, right? I like how the rebuttals shut down each other. So logic plus entertainment plus confidence will reveal that the winner of the debating round is Team Co. Is still okay? It's okay. So for your final round, things will be a little different. Each chosen speaker will be given a taboo word slapped across their foreheads. Wow. But they do not know their own words. <gasps> Speakers are to present their argument and refrain from mentioning their taboo word or five seconds will be instantly deducted from their speaking time. The statement for this round is The earth is flat. The earth is obviously not round. If it is round, why are the bottoms of our shoe flat? If not, everybody's shoe will be curved, am I right? And then if the earth is round, everybody opposite us in the globe, in the USA, they are upside down? Clearly not. Therefore, the earth is not round. In fact, the earth is thick as heck. Say! Thank you. It was like arguing with my mom. Because your mom always wins. <laughs> She's fast. Judges, we've tried to win logic, using logic, but you didn't win. So we're gonna go another route. We're gonna compliment you guys. First. You guys are looking, you all are looking beautiful today. Just like the roundness of the earth. <laughs> like, like, just like the roundness of the globe. <laughs> just like the hmm of the earth. Correct? <laughs> uh, have you so seen the photo of NASA also before or not? Never. Never. I later I show you. Is that flat to the image? Yes. But you got to learn photography, right? Miss Sharon Ismail, do you teach photography here? No. no. I'd like to remind you guys that this may be your final round. So make it, break it, but don't f*** it up. May the best debater win. Boring! <laughs> I love how that was insane. Thanks, guys. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Have you walked far enough to verify that the Earth is not flat? You have. I see you nodding. No, I'm just nodding. Okay. Yeah, I, I understood your point. And I believe it's very important to verify your sources, okay. which brings me to my next part about the NASA pictures. Your teammate himself mentioned um, something about Photoshop. So how do you know that it is not Photoshop? These like images, right? When it comes out on Instagram, the NASA page, is it not in 2D? Do you feel it? Do you wear goggles? Yes, I have not walked the entire planet, but why? have ships not just dropped into oblivion if the world was indeed flat, right? And when you talk about shoes being flat, I don't believe shoes are flat. I believe shoes are flexible, enough to mould to the ground, all right? When you said like, oh, if the earth was round, we'd be upside down. But it's all about perspective. At every point of where we are on the planet Earth, we are upright. I could have sworn it was called gravity, but I think to one group it was called perspective. perspective. <laughs> I think with this round, we went for the quality of the speaker and the quality of the rebuttal. And the judges have decided that the winner is Team Red! Who is Red? Where is Red? Us, us, us. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh! Oh my god! Damn! Team Code, Team Red. Winning this episode is decided with this round. Your <laughs> official motion for this round is... Ghosts! Do not exist. We were just talking about this! <laughs> For this final tiebreaker, because things are really, really exciting now, the speaking time will be 30 seconds. Oh, okay. If you think about it, the idea about ghosts, they actually come from like old stories, old wives' tales, traditions to do what? 
instill fear and control. And when all these tales are actually passed down through generations, right, it becomes like a cautionary tale, like, oh, I cannot do this because if not, I'll get cursed, I'll be doing this, or this place is haunted because of this thing that happened. But it's all in the mind. Okay, I'll go through this really fast. First of all, I'd like to start by saying that ghosts, not necessarily bad, yeah? It could be good spirits, yeah? If ghosts don't exist, let's think about why the producer sent us to a haunted house. Guys, I cannot go out, they're pulling me high! Wow, this one cannot one person. Then, uh, second part, if um, ghosts don't exist, then why do boys not reply me? <laughs> <laughs> exactly! Thanks, bro! Thanks for taking one for the team, bro! <laughs> Okay, we're talking about why the haunted house episode. Well, because scare factor sells, and that's why people are hooked on it. It's really based on stories and the fear of the unknown, not necessarily the fear of ghosts, right? When you talked about why boys don't reply you, right? Why they ghost you? Well, maybe frankly, you should be reflecting on yourself and your own personality. Maybe that's why the said person that I do not want to mention, redacted name, does not want to uh, <laughs> message you back. Okay, and if the ghost exists. I said to come out now lah! Ah, where? 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 Antu, mana? Ah, where? So, how paranormal activities have four movies? How? Because they always... People want to watch lah! I'm just reading all what they say. How paranormal activities have four movies? Because every, 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 every... <laughs> huh? I think this time round, there was a true missed opportunity in the sense that there was no proving or disproving of the phenomenon of ghosts. There was one team that left it wide open for the other team to pick up and rebut, but unfortunately, it was not picked up on. Everyone, please rise for the announcement of the winner. We, the, the citizens, citizens of Singapore, Singapore pledge ourselves as, as one united people. <laughs> The winning team for the Best Yapper Award this year goes to Team Co! Oh my god, wait! Oh wait, wait. Guys. The one I give the other side, lor. <laughs> First time a lecturer compliment me. Thank you, Misha! Also your... Oh yes. Oh my god! Um, I'm not that too bad after all. Uh. Team effort. I think what was strong about this team is the team effort, even though it may not have been delivered as strongly. And let this be a lesson also uh, to win an argument. It's not necessarily to be coherent, but just be compelling. I would like to also say that, you know what? Um, Ida and Denise did a very good job. No, baby. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. I really cannot hear. They think someone who has cheated before is not okay because you are not the only girl in his world. If you're drinking at home, club at home. You want trust issues? You want insecurities? Do you want your mother to be not proud of you? Then you cheat lah. It's um, of course understandable that you would say that um, clubbing is great because that's where you find cheaters. Thank you to our guests, Zaki, Pierzy, Sharon and Denise for joining us. Thank you to my mother too. I think even though that we lost, I feel like we learned a lot of things. 100%, 100%. We learned that sweet cannot debate. Alright, let's go. Bye-bye. Mic drop. Bye-bye. Why you all say so much? But look, who's the one winning? Exactly. Go, go. I think we go lah. Okay, let's, let's. Okay, let's. Okay, let's. Take a winning shot of us. Can I get an apple box? She's just a floating head now. <laughs> they don't fall down. Bro. Oh. <laughs> yes, oh, bro. Your first word is Pitong de Merde. Huh? It's what? It's what? <laughs> For a mass com kid to talk about expenditure and numbers, then you know she's faking it. Besok boleh beli 4D itu? Ah, what the monkey king? What? Uh, the Chinese journey to the west, ah? Uh? Journey to the west, yeah. Uh, he started from the east, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is not working, by the way. 